So we've unboxed the Huawei Mate 50 Pro and also this guy, the Huawei Mate 50 Pro Cooling Edition for you guys in the previous video. You guys already know how capable it is with all the innovative technologies. But now it's even better because you can not just install the Google apps in it, but also you can use it. And here are the steps to it. So let's do some recap before I go into the main topic of today. So the Huawei Mate 50 Pro here, it has two versions. One is with the glossy back cover and one with this one, the orange vegan leather, which is the Kunlun glass version where you can drop it anyhow and it won't break easily. Dead serious guys, if you want to know how I threw it, oops, how I tried to break it, just click here for the previous video. Of course, it also has this awesome camera here, especially the first ever physical aperture lens here. Look at that. There are actual lens petals moving around it. You can switch from f-stop 4 to as large as f-stop 1.4. This is really nice, especially for some close-up shots. Although there's no more Leica, but with the Huawei's own X-Mage camera and the aid of XD Fusion algorithm, the pictures turns out to be really sharp. Now let me show you the differences between physical aperture and virtual aperture. Not just that, the Huawei Mate 50 Pro also got the first at the EXO Mark smartphone camera ranking. Also not to forget about the low battery emergency mode that will give you up to 12 minutes of call time and also the EMUI 13 which gives you all the conveniences on your workflow. Now for the main topic of today, Google! Now a lot of people are concerned about the Google apps on Huawei devices but with the new Huawei Mate 50 series, it can now easily install Google Apps. Just go to your app gallery and search for Lighthouse app and install it. Once you're done, you either ask to sign into your Google account immediately or you can go to the settings, click into apps, search for Lighthouse app and click the settings button on the top right corner, click add account and sign in manually. Next, just go to app gallery and download all your Google Apps that you want like YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Google Meet, Google Drive and so on. Your apps will then automatically sign into your Google account and you can use it just like any other devices now. It's surprisingly smooth upon using the app, just that you only can sign in one account for it. No support for multiple Google accounts as of now. Now, I know most of you guys are still worried about privacy and securities on the Huawei App Gallery here, but hey, the App Gallery has upgraded to its very own privacy and security update. So, all you need to do is to go to your App Gallery and click to the account. You can click scan and see if it's green or red. If you're green, you're good to go and save. Oh yeah, one more reminder, remember to set your region to Malaysia before you do all these steps because now it's dedicated specially for Malaysians only and also there are these supported Huawei devices currently only. So here goes another reason for you to buy the Huawei Mate 50 series. So visit the Huawei stores and know more about the offers now. So let me know what do you think about it and I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm Jesse. Ciao!